God is the one who said East Africa is one. In September 2018, six African nations, Burundi, Rwanda, Tanzania, Uganda, Kenya, and South Sudan met and formed a draft constitution to create a single unified federation called East African Federation. The goal of this is to create a unified country with a common market, a single currency, and a shared controlled identity, same as United States. In 2022, the Democratic Republic of Congo joined the Federation as a new member. The East African Federation would be home to nearly 300 million citizens spread across an area of 4.8 million square kilometers. The East African Federation would be Africa's largest country in terms of both territory and people and the fourth most populous countries in the world. The integration rests on four key pillars, a custom union, a common market, a monetary union, and a political federation. Swahili has been chosen as indigenous language that will serve as the lingua flank of the seven nations. Let us look why the West fear the East African Federation. The East African Federation will be the richest resources area if we include Congo, Tanzania, Uganda, Kenya, South Sudan, Burundi, and Rwanda. All these are the richest resources countries. Also, the region has several water masses in the form of fresh water, lakes, rivers, and marine water. The fresh water masses like lakes and rivers have much biodiversity that can be exported as food and also create employment. Other lakes are special because they either have hot springs or harbor large species of birds such as the flamingo which makes them tourist attractions. The marine water at the coast provide food, employment and a source of foreign exchange. The coast beaches are a major tourist attraction in both Kenya and Tanzania areas. Port at Mombasa and Dar es Salaam, among others, serve both the region and the landlocked countries bordering the region. East Africa is the richest tourism attraction containing wildlife and marine life. The Zanzibar Highland is the richest in marine lives and beaches attraction. If you go to the weed animal, East Africa has the largest national parks like Masai Mara, Serengeti National Parks, Luwa, Mount Vilunga, uh, weed life, and many other attractions. If East Africa decide to invest in tourism, it will create a lot of money. That's why we say East Africa if the federation comes true, it will be the superpower. East Africa is the roof of Africa, having a tourist mountains in three countries, Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania, Mount Kenya in Kenya, and Mount Elgon in Uganda. All these are the three tourist and biggest mountains in the continent of Africa. East Africa has greatest potentials in hydroelectric power where has the big dam like Henga Dam, Mwalimnyelele Dam in Tanzania, Victoria Falls in Uganda, and also has coal that can be participating in producing enough energy. Apart from that, East Africa, as I said, has many gases reserved in Tanzania. 
if the federation comes through, the East African Federation will become a superpower. Like other federations, East Africa has a big challenge to stop war and conflict in DRC. This is a, one of the biggest questions the East African readers have to answer. In DRC for many decades is not at peace and at this time where many rebels are waking up fighting in DRC. But if African, African readers decided to resolve these problems and make it clear and remove this conflict, East Africa will become a superpower. But the question is, there are some people who are benefiting from these conflicts. Are they ready to see East Africa is at peace? Or oh, they will use this to undermine the Federation. It's our duty as Africans to encourage peace and to preach peace in order to achieve our desire. This is the sleeping giant, a superpower East Africa Federation.